All right, I was thinking I was done yesterday, but the eyes on this dog has bothered me uh, ever since yesterday. And I just know I can do better on them. And so I'm going to try that today. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. I haven't got a lot wrong with it. It's just I've got too much of a ridge above the eye. And I don't need that big of a ridge. All right, that's uh, it with the dog on the eyes. I just want to do a little repair on the ears. There's a little pocket right here, and I need to make sure that is showing. It's right on the bottom edge of the uh, ear. All right, that's it for this piece. I'm uh, really happy with the eyes, the way they turned out. They were not what I wanted, and uh, I think I've got them where I like them. Well, I don't think I got them where I like them. I know I got them where I like them. So let's put this one aside and get back on the uh, young lady. All right, going to start uh, the uh, porcupine hairbrush. These are two examples of uh, the type of Blackfoot uh, porcupine hairbrush there is and uh, I have it from a good authority uh, Michael Badhand who told me that the uh, Blackfoot Indians uh, didn't use any kind of comb or trade combs they used porcupine tails I don't know what the makeup of a tail was but uh, obviously nothing sticky on them <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. I've never seen 
one of these combs in person. Um, Michael told me that uh, they had a wooden stick going up through the uh, tail to give it a stiffness and so that's why I'm using this uh, copper flattened out piece of tubing as it kind of like an armature. All right, I'm going to use this uh, ink roller that I got off of, got off of uh, Amazon, and uh, it's good for flattening out clay. It don't stick to it because it's got a rubber uh, roller. I'm going to attempt to uh, make some kind of a texture. I got to get the light where I can see the texture. I am a uh, measuring the width of the uh, fur and they're both equal so that's good that's uh, textured and I'm going to take down the texture a little bit with some Ronsonol uh, lighter fluid only because uh, this much texture will be hard to uh, clean the uh, ceramic mold out of when they're making a casting of it in bronze so I've got to uh, be considerate of the uh, mold maker and also my pocketbook because it costs more when they gotta spend more time cleaning investment out of your uh, bronze. Okay, now I'll put the brass tacks that attach the tail to the uh, stick. I'll come back when I get this done. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I've never made a porcupine brush before. This is a first timer for me. Your fingers. I'm running out of time today to work on this. I'll probably have to finish working on this Monday. All right, that's about all I'm going to have time to do today. All right, everybody, have a great night and a great weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.